Hi everybody, this is Dr. Ariel Ross. I am a physical therapist as well as a yoga instructor. And I'm also the co-founder of Rooted Physio and Performance, which is a mobile physical therapy practice. Um, my business partner I'm lucky enough to have is my husband, Leslie Addy. So today what I wanted to talk to you all about is just this essence of physical therapists doing home visits or home calls and really what that means and how it differentiates between probably what a lot of us believe when we think about these like house visits. So a little bit about just, you know, our, our practice and our business model is that we are a mobile physical therapy practice that practices um, outpatient physical therapy in the home. So traditionally, when we hear home PT, a lot of people start to think about home health PT. So home health PT um, is really for those who are confined to their homes. And that's really based on the Medicare guidelines. So those folks who might not be able to walk, might not be able to, you know, travel outside of the home because of cognitive issues, um, that's really home health PT. And that's not really what we're focusing on with our, our business, but that is kind of the typical like house visit or house or home health PT that you'll hear about. Really where our business differs is that we work with um, people who would traditionally qualify for more of those outpatient physical therapy places. Um, and we really work with them inside of their homes, which creates a lot more convenience for those folks. So we'll talk a little bit about just, you know, the semantics of it, but also like what are the benefits of working um, in your home and also like just why we chose to go that path. So a lot of times when you're going out into an outpatient clinic in the physical therapy realm, you know, there's often a push in those clinics for physical therapists to see multiple people at once. Um, I'm talking like two to three clients at the same time, you know, loud gym environment where you're not really getting paid attention to. Um, and oftentimes, really, if there's another person there who's overseeing your exercise, it's someone who's operating in a physical therapy aid perspective. So aides are people who, you know, all you really need is a high school diploma in order to be an aide. You don't even really need to be pursuing physical therapy uh, education or higher education in order to fill that role. And the reason why we think that the outpatient mobile practice works really, really well is because you spend one hour with me um, or with another doctor of physical therapy. So that honestly is awesome because there's so much skill that goes into being a physical therapist. It's not just our hands-on techniques. I think a lot of folks out there just believe that physical therapists are kind of like glorified massage therapists. Um, and I really think that that's been perpetuated because of these other models in healthcare where the PT might do like manual therapy with you for 15 minutes. And then you're passed again on to that person who's not really qualified to be leading you through a therapeutic exercise routine. So something that, you know, really gets emphasized in a positive way through this model of being outpatient in your home is that not only are you getting our hands-on techniques, but you're also getting our exper exercise expertise. So when it comes to exercise, you know, there's so many different videos online nowadays of like fix your knee pain or fix your back pain. And I'll say for, you know, maybe the more simple cases are for folks who might have a exacerbation of a past injury that they've managed pretty well. You know, those videos are great and they do help a lot of people, but there are a lot of folks out there that this system of either Instagram workouts or traditional, you know, models of healthcare, they kind of slip through the cracks because maybe they have more than just one body area of concern, or maybe, you know, they're, they're, uh, musculoskeletal pain is being exacerbated by an autoimmune condition or you know maybe they just don't feel comfortable or confident working out in a big busy environment and they want that expertise um which i personally believe should be how it is everywhere but unfortunately it's not um and that's why again i think that this model is is really is really awesome and it's superior to a lot of models out there so when we talk about exercise expertise with physical therapists, you know, 
a lot of the folks that get into this space, um, outpatient in the home, a lot of us have other exercise backgrounds. So I was a yoga instructor for many, many years before I became a PT. I'm also currently training um, to get my strength and conditioning coach uh, specialty as well. So not only are you getting like that hands-on, you know, instruction, but you're also getting the plan to go along with it. And it's really guided and led by someone who is an expert in this, someone who studies it up and down every type of way all throughout their day in their life. And I really believe that people do deserve that level of care. Another thing that I think is really cool about this model is that it allows me as a physical therapist to operate at the top of my license. So a lot of people don't really even know that in many states throughout America um, or the United States, you can go directly to a physical therapist without having to go through your primary care doctor. So this is something that's in certain states become a newer thing and it's called direct access. And really what this allows for you as a client or a patient to do is to go straight to the source of managing a musculoskeletal pain. So really physical therapists are the experts. You know, we have more training than um, MDs and PAs um, when it comes to screening and ruling out, you know, a lot of common musculoskeletal problems. Of course, there's the ortho MDs who are excellent, but those are usually a specialty that you have to go to after you go to your primary care. So we definitely love to collaborate with our medical um, doctors as well, but I think, you know, if something is simple, like say you were mowing your lawn and you, you know, pulled a muscle in your back, you really shouldn't have to wait three weeks for an appointment with your primary care physician and then get into a physical therapy office, maybe another three weeks. Now it's been six weeks and that, you know, easy, acute back pain has now turned into, you know, a longer standing issue. Maybe it's affecting how you're walking, now your hip and knee hurt. You see what I'm saying? Like, versus if you strained your back and you had a physical therapist you worked with in the past in this model and you were able to shoot them a quick text or call and they see you the next day. So there's a lot of, you know, benefits that go into this model, not not just, you know, on our side, but 100% on your side as well. Um, so lastly, I think with mobile physical therapy, a lot of people are like, well, you know, I really like going in and using all the equipment in the gym, or I like the camaraderie, or I like this or that. And, you know, 100%, I, I completely understand how, you know, it can be fun and exciting to go into those clinics and those spaces, um, and also to see other people working through conditions that, you know, might be similar to yours. Um, but I'm letting you know as well, like, with mobile physical therapy, I like to see myself as a connector. So yes, I'm working with you one-on-one -on -one in your home, but I have this full network of people who I'd love to refer you to, whether that's a group exercise class focused on pelvic health. Maybe that is a mom group working on, you know, just walking with the babies outside. Um, or maybe it's an online support group that's going to help you dealing with some type of you know, more chronic pain or chronic condition that you're going through. You know, there is still those avenues that you can reach out to in this model. Also, I feel like we become very, very um, creative with a lot of our interventions, um, but we also carry equipment like all the time in my car. I have kettlebells, I have um, different TheraBands, I have different other monster bands, I use a cupping kit that I bring with me. Um, and really like, in my opinion, if you're keeping things simple, you shouldn't need every single piece of equipment in order to get somebody better. Yes, there are certain pieces of equipment that are great, but really if you're doing your job as a physical therapist, um, you really just need your, your brain, number one, your hands, number two, and then a couple pieces of equipment that are pretty easy to, you know, lug back and forth um, between different people's houses. Another thing too is a lot of folks have created these gyms in their houses over the pandemic. So I think that's really freed up a lot of, you know, of that barrier and oftentimes I see folks like trying to figure out even like how do I set this up how is the best way to utilize some of this equipment and that can be where you know us as physical therapists can really train you on this equipment um, and help you just live your best life ever 
So thank you all so much for listening. Um, please subscribe to our page. We're going to be posting more information about, you know, being on the innovative side of healthcare because that's really at the root of who we are. We are innovators, we're disruptors, and we're teachers. I hope to hear you all, hear from you all soon. Um, definitely leave a comment if you felt this was helpful. Peace.